All right, now, in case you haven't noticed, it's a little bit cold Just outside. A little bit. Right. A little Baby, bit. it's cold outside. These look awesome, man. You Thank like those? You. So we've asked our meteorologist, Brian Nisnansky, to leave the trenches of his weather office. Yes. Join us here on the Yellow Couch and do a little weather trivia to get us up to speed with what's going on outside. Good to see you. <laughs> good to see you guys. Hi. It's warm. Uh, it's, it's a little bit warmer in the weather center. Do you think she'd ever be a good weather kid? She's fantastic. <laughs> she'd steal my job. I'd be, I un know. I'd be unemployed. Absolutely. <laughs> so wait a little bit at least. <laughs> All right, I've been assigned. I, I'm supposed to uh, give you ladies some weather trivia okay. uh, this morning. Can you play uh, some, weather trivia? Some yes. really, really tough questions. Do you so know hopefully. your clouds like Nimbus, Cumulomambulus yet? I don't know. Oh, I hope you <laughs> have some <laughs> in there. Cumulonimbus, <laughs> Cumulonimbus. Yeah. I, I, I like to come up with words, as so do our viewers, with his last name. Yeah. So I came up with Sniznowing. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. So. How about how about the Niz Chill, not the Wind Chill? Oh, I Ooh, like that. I like that. <laughs> okay. You were proud of that one as well. I can tell. I've been look thinking of that face. one this morning. You know your favorite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Question one. All, all, right. all so about the cold. True or false on here? True or false? All right. Hold them up. Okay. In Milwaukee's very, very cold history, mm -hmm. uh, we've been as cold as minus 30. With wind chill or without? Without. You think true? You think true? I think false. It is false. Yes! What? <laughs> minus 26 is the coldest. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought that was like way. Yeah, that way was too cold. It's kind of the same now after mm -hmm. negative 20. <laughs> right, it's know? all the same. That's <laughs> yeah. very true. Now, minus 26 was set back in uh, 1982 and 1996. Okay. Uh, so that's okay. as cold as we've had. Okay, question two. Do you two. like the cold, Abby? Yes. Oh, you do? Oh, I do not. You're a Wisconsin girl. Yeah, you are. I like uh -huh. that. All Wait right. till you get older like us. You'll be You're like, I don't like it. My bones creak. Yep. You're getting all rickety. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> all right. The coldest temperature, the, uh, this is question two, by the way. The Kay. coldest temperature ever recorded was on the North Pole. Mm. We all think false. false. You're correct. It what do we a, think, Antarctica? Yep, yeah. it was actually a Russian research facility in Antarctica. Get, get how cold this is. You think we got it bad? I think it's going to be disgusting. 128.6 degrees <gasps> oh my below goodness. zero. Girl, so we can't <laughs> complain anymore. No, no Could you complaining. you imagine? I we, mean, we have a heat wave here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. wow. All right, question three real quick. Uh, the Great Lakes have never frozen over completely 100%. True or false? False, false. Well, with that negative 26, you might be right. This is true. Oh, I think true. Am many, I saying true? Yep. Yeah, I said true. Many, I meant false. Uh, <laughs> many times, uh, the Great Lakes, um, they've they've gotten about 80, 90% frozen over, but never 100%. So don't ever over. walk on the middle of Lake Michigan. Okay, Abby? <laughs> don't do it. Don't bring your, like, if you can make, like, <laughs> snowballs, you know, those little, like, snowball cakes. Don't make those and walk across the lake. Okay. <laughs> Promise? That'd be bad, bad, yeah. bad. Okay. All right, bonus question. One final Ooh. bonus question here. Right. This one gets really sciencey. Okay. This one is, uh, I like so, science. Okay. Cold air is heavier and denser than warm air. Oh. This is true. Oh, Abby! <laughs> okay. She probably, she, you can celebrate that. She probably knows this because of her oven technology oh, and stuff. Yeah, okay. okay. So it's true because mole molecules are packed closer together when, it, when they're cold. So you get more molecules and the water vapor and more water vapors in warmer air. So it's less dense. So oh. when you think of it this way. That's why I thought it would be more dense okay. because of the water vapors. Totally. Yeah. Think of it this way. In the middle of summertime, uh, baseball and the brewers are playing yeah. and stuff. Okay. Summertime, the warmer it is, the more you see home runs. Because the air is actually less dense. Oh, because the ball can travel faster. Ball travels faster when it's warm outside. Okay, so. and, and the cakes can rise higher. <laughs> right? <laughs> She's like, sure. She's like, party. yeah, okay. Yeah. Get right, out of my kitchen. You can have a cake pop. Can we eat these? <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody grab a cake pop. Ooh. Thank you, Brian, for being here. Thank you. Thank you, Abby, for being here. Yes, thank really you. Really excited about Cheers. these. Good Cheers. luck on your show. Cheers. Stay warm, everybody. Good luck getting us some warmth coming okay. this way. All right.